welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you guys or give you guys another success tip. Don't follow the crowd. Just stay tuned. <laughs> something Eastern Standard Time so hopefully I get to get this to you guys today and you guys can don't forget to like comment share um let me know what else you want me to talk about that kind of thing all right so I'm gonna get right into it all right so I don't know I guess this past couple weeks I've been really thinking about stuff right and more specifically about career and success and goals so last week, I brought you guys a video about consistency and how that's key to success, right? And knowing why you want to do what you want to do and that why is going to keep you motivated. Um, one thing that came up to uh, came up in my mind uh, was about social media, right? Now, come on, let's be real. Social media has become such an asset to us in terms of like growing our brands you know, really marketing who we are and um, just growing, you know, because if people don't know who you are, they don't know your products, they don't know your services, then you're just not going to grow because it doesn't have to be necessarily social media, but it could be radio, it could be a billboard, it could be um, word of mouth. But right now, social media is that platform that will get you out and get the word um, spread about what it is that you do and what you're passionate about. And so, uh, you know, social media can, it can be tough, right? Because there are the millions and millions of people who are trying to sell you something. They're trying to um, encourage you to buy into whatever it is that they're doing, whatever they're passionate about. I mean, I'm one of them, right? Let's be real, right? I want you to watch my YouTube videos. I want you to uh go to counseling and therapy because that's what i believe in i'm a therapist right i want you to um support my movies about mental health and like you know there's things i want you to do and i'm always encourage you to do that because it's something i'm passionate about and i know it can help you right and but there's millions of other people doing the same thing i'm doing but about whatever it is that they're passionate about so it's a very convoluted place, right? Everybody's constantly trying to encourage you to do something or sell you something. Um, and I think that if you're on, if you're a business person and you're trying to get the word out about whatever, whatever it is you're passionate about, social media can be very uncomfortable at times. It can be very challenging you can feel like i mean there's videos i posted that literally have maybe like 30 views or 60 views and it's like oh my god like why why bother you know you can get very um discouraged and disappointed um if you're not um if you don't believe in what you're doing and know that one day you know it's gonna it's gonna work out um most of the time what i've noticed is that people will uh and i'm just gonna say it they will sacrifice who they are in order to get attention they will basically do the whole gimmick thing like they'll uh i'm not about to say this dude's name but well no i'm gonna say it shoot he's from charlotte well i think he's from charlotte something like that like north carolina but like the baby, right? He did. He is a great example of what he did. Like it was marketing, right? It's smart. It's, it's it worked obviously, right? But when he went, he had a, a real diaper on, or it was something he had on, like a diaper or something. And he was like out walking around with that on, and it got him a lot of attention. He got picked up in blogs he, and and um, you know, on I guess what, what is it, world star hip hop, whatever. Back then, like he, it got him a lot of attention, and then that that. Drove people to look at his music. Okay, let me listen to this dude's music then. Like, you know, so it worked. But a lot of times you feel, you can feel um, pressured to put on those gimmicks, right? As a woman, for me, um, I work out a lot, you know, and I, I feel like I have a nice body. I mean, I mean, I'm saying, right? I mean, I feel like I feel good about my body. 
Uh, I mean, I still got to lose on my stomach, but like, I'm overall, I feel good about myself, right? And so, um, but I don't do, I don't do fitness videos and stuff. I don't do fitness blogs and stuff like that. But I do realize, like, sometimes I notice that when if I post like a, a selfie or if I post um, when I'm in the gym, I'm working out, I have my tights on, I probably get more likes on those videos and those pictures than I will if I'm posting about mental health or I'm posting something positive, right? And so a lot of a lot of women and men now they tend to go to more toward that like you know more body image type stuff which is not a bad thing at all because it's part of it i think it's part of mental health is to take care of yourself fitness right uh but they they're probably let's say for example that wasn't really what they wanted to do they really want to talk about uh more lifestyle mental health type stuff but they were interested in fitness so they but they noticed that they would get more attraction with the fitness stuff and the lingerie or bikini fitness, that kind of stuff. So they probably was like, okay, let me just do this then because that's what's going, that's what's working. If that's what your audience wants, that's what your audience wants. But are you being authentic to yourself? That's the real question. Are you being genuine with who you are and what you want to bring forth? Um, and I think that's the thing with social media. It's like you have to you have to be secure in who you are already. You have to already know who you are because if you don't, you will constantly be shifting. Like you'll constantly be shifting. Um, you'll you'll feel you'll feel uh, pressured to put out content and talk about stuff that you don't even care nothing about. Like it's just not what you want. It's not what you're interested in. But it's gonna make you money, right? Or it's gonna it's gonna get you the attention. It's gonna get you more likes. It's gonna get you more followers. So it, it's that unspoken pressure to follow the trends, to be gimmicky, to put out content again that you don't really feel comfortable putting out, but you you do it because okay, well. Um, and so for me, I guess my success tip for you guys is to um, don't follow the crowd. Okay, and I know, right? Don't follow the crowd because guess what? Um, although following the crowd probably will get you there faster. Let's be real. I'm going to be real and honest with you. It's going to get you there faster because people are going to be looking at you. You're going to have more attention because you're popping. Like, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's intriguing. But will you be able to sustain it? And most importantly, how will you feel at the end of the day? Because if you're putting out content that, um, you don't feel, you don't feel a sense of pride about, you don't feel, um, that is authentic to who you are your brand first of all will you be able to sustain it for a long time because eventually you're going to burn out on it because eventually you're going to be like i don't really want to do this you're going to have that it's an internal struggle you, people may not see it on the outside but internally you're like god i really don't want to be posting about this stuff let's say you're a gossip blogger right but you don't really like to talk about people i think there's a one and i'm not gonna say her name but there's one blogger blogger um, she talked about how for years it, she would she was a gossip blogger, so she was putting all this content out about these celebrities and people. And but inside, it was making her a lot of money. She, you know, big brand. But inside, she didn't feel good about it. It just didn't feel right because she's like, oh my god, I'm talking about these people and their lives. These are real people. So that's what I'm saying. It's a great example of it. It's like, yeah, you might get the attention, you might get the money, you might get the accolades, you might get. Some awards you know what i mean like you might really shine and blow up but at the end of the day will you be able to sustain that and will you be will you feel good about it on the inside so the number one thing is don't follow the crowd be authentic be unique be who you are be who god created you to be because guess what there's so many millions and millions of people that are watching youtube every day and so you might you might have this one for me, for example, I'm about mental health, I'm about wellness, I'm about lifestyle, I'm a parent. You get to kind of see my success, my 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 journey. And, and if you're um, a high school dropout, if you're a single mom, if you are um, a young woman, young millennial black woman or a woman of color, you might gravitate to my content. If you're a therapist, if you're a professional woman, um, but yeah, if you're entre also an entrepreneur, like, there are certain things about me that you're going to people are going to gravitate to that can relate to my topics and who I am as a brand. And I had, that's my group of people. That's my tribe. I'm not going after people who are 
somebody who's complete opposite of me. I, they're not going to get me. They're going to probably think I'm a little bougie or uh, who you think you are or, or not fun enough. I'm dull. I'm boring. Like, but those people can stay over there. I want my people, right? And whenever, if you're being authentic to who you are and your brand, you're going to attract your people and your people are going to stay with you. Your people are going to support your projects and what you are um, passionate about and what you want to do. Because you're encouraging them because they see themselves in you. You are a reflection of them. There's nothing that I'm doing that the people who follow me and watch me can't do. Let me say that again. There's nothing I'm doing that the people who follow and watch me can't do. I'm no exception to the rule. None. None at all. I'm a small town young woman, young millennial, single mom of two. I had two children by the time I was 19 as a single mom, high school dropout, trauma survivor that has now, you know, I have a master's degree in, I'm not going to tell y'all about this other thing I'm doing. Anyway, master's degree, multiple credentials, right? Um, and I just produced my first movie, a whole movie. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been featuring so many different magazines. Like, my story is 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 great, but it's not like something that other people can't do. And the thing is, is I try to pour these things out because I want you to see that. I, mean, I want you to see what I did and how I did it and what I'm doing. And you get to follow the journey with me because guess what? If I can do it, you can too. And people used to say that all the time, but like I literally truly believe that and I know that. Because I have, there are people that I watched, right? There are people that I watched and I, I saw them do it. I'm like, oh, if they can do that, I can do it too. And I've been able to do it. So don't follow the crowd. Be authentically you. Find your unique voice. Find your tribe, your people, the people who are, will gravitate to you will come to you. It might take three or four years. For real, right? Because I just got monetized on YouTube. I've been doing this for like since 2017. But those people will come and they will support you. I'm telling you, but stay true to who you are. Don't lose who you are for social media. It ain't worth it, baby. Trust me. All right, guys, that's my success tip for you guys for this week. I love you so much. Oh my God, y'all are so amazing. Really, for real, though. All right, leave me a comment below. What do you think? Um, uh, like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to 2,000, okay? Show people that, you know what? We do like this kind of content, positive stuff. Not that gimmicky stuff. Not all the time. All right, see y'all next time.